Today's video in Albion Online is all about tinkerer laborers. I'm going to go over how much profit they make, how they work, how to set them up in your house or guild hall, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's get right into it, okay? First off, we're going to talk profits. That is straight up profits. How much money do tinkerers make? How much money do the journals make? Let's jump in. All right, straight up, if you just fill a tinkerer's journal, which only takes 900 fame, you're going to be able to sell it for 3,911. And you may be asking, what the hell is a tinkerer's journal? Journal? How do you get them? What do you do about that? Okay, so if you go in town and you craft tools, like gathering tools, gathering gear, all that kind of fun stuff, that's at the tool maker. That's this little icon right here. And by crafting that with this journal, which I had pulled up, with this journal here, you will fill this journal once you craft 900 fame worth of tier 2 items. You have to craft tier 2 things to fill a tier 2 journal. You can't craft tier 5 tools with a tier 2 journal. It will not fill up, okay? So, with that said, how much money can you make instead if you just turn in the journal to a laborer? So look over here. This is a laborer. It's a tier 8 laborer. The reason why I'm using tier 8 laborers in a tier 8 house with all the beds and tables and trophies, okay, is because I want the maximum return value for the trophy. So, let me show you what that looks like, okay? This is um, a, a tier 8 tinker. You can use a tier 3 tinkerer for this, for just tier 2. And I gave him a journal. It takes 22 hours. He came back with some materials. He came back with 18 planks, copper bars, 7 leathers, 14 cloths, and he gives you an empty journal back. So we're going to take all of that back now. You can see here that the estimated value of my items is only 1,555. So the journal, 200. The wood, 378. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, the copper bars, also correct. The stiff leather... Yep, uh, so tier 2 material is not worth very much, so all in all, we kind of lost some money there. But you can see here, I get the empty journal back with 0 out of 900 fame, which means I gotta go craft some more tools, and then I can fill this bad boy back up. Now, here is the second uh, result of also a tier 2 journal. It's got 13 cloth, 8 copper bars, 31 planks, 5 leathers, and of course the book back. Again, estimated market value 1555 It's almost the exact same. Now, if we take away the journal, because technically you would save the journal and refill it, uh, we have an estimated market value of 1355 which is one silver off the first result. It's, uh, it looks like it's better just to sell these journals. Now, people do use these to level your tinkerer. However, it only takes one generalist trophy journal to level these guys, and that's way easier to fill. So, I don't even know if anyone even buys these Tinker Journals. Okay, now I'm going to go through each tier and show you uh, how much the journal is worth and the returns that I got on my two tests. So, this is a Tier 3. Uh, it gave me back 4,173 in materials. And then if you look here at the journal, 3,036 estimated market value. So, uh, instead of showing you each one, like instead of running to this Tier 3, where is it at? Uh, there it is. So instead of running to each one of these, I'm just going to put it up on the screen to make this much snappier and faster. All right, there is tier three's results. Pretty much the same. Now, I, this is where things are going to start to differ because once you get to tier four and up, the materials can have enchantments. So you can see here that this tier four gave us one rare pine plank. Now this is worth 733. And then if we check the other tier four one, where's he at? we got a 4.1 pine plank, so uh, it will start to vary from here on out. Here are the results. Now, in here is where I'm storing them. So here is the first results on the left side from the first laborer, and then in my inventory is the second pull from the laborer. You can see it's a 500 silver difference between the two results, but they were both higher than just selling the journal. So this is where it gets useful. So remember, if you want 150% returns, you would need a tier 5 house with one tier 5 bed per laborer, one tier 5 table per three laborers, or I, I forget, it's three tables in a guild hall, it's one table in a house, okay? Uh, so yeah, there you go, it's one table per five, but whatever, you get the point. And then you need one of these generalist trophies um 
her three laborers. Uh, so there you go. That's how much you would need. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's kind of rough. Here we can see that the journal's worth 9,000. Um, the first result, we did pull a 5.1 cloth, and uh, the total was 9,046. You can see down here. And on the right side is our second result, only getting 8,343. So, um, well, uh, in that case, it would have been better to sell the journal. Though you have to remember the journal's base worth also. Like, for instance, uh, just the journal alone is worth 3,661 if you buy it from the market. Obviously, if you buy it from uh, the, the, the wagey here... <laughs> Uh, let's see, a tier five Tinker's Journal is 2,400, so it's actually cheaper to buy it from the from the laborer than it is on the market. So yeah, uh, it's it's up to you to uh, to to see that if you're deciding to do this or not. Now I want to say there was a mistake on screen. Um, there was not a 4.1 plank with the tier five stuff. I accidentally forgot to delete the text. Whoops. But here's the tier six results. Okay. At 150% returns, we can see that we're making a few thousand extra silver than just selling the journal. Um, there you go. Uh, not a big difference, really. Here's the results of a tier 17 Tinkers journal. Now, this is interesting because it's a huge difference. Or difference, I can't speak. So, the first result only gave us six items worth 39,000. And the other one gave us four or five. Gave us seven items, but it, because... Leather is worth way, way more than anything else. Almost double the worth. Like, uh, one plank, 6.7k. One leather, 12.5k. Okay? Because we have two leathers, we earned 59,000 instead of 39,000. So, it's really luck-dependent from here on out. And now we have the tier 8 results. You can see that we didn't get any leather in either of these. The first result was four planks and one bar worth 118,971, if you look at my tooltip. And then the second one, we got two enchanted 8.1 cloth. All right, we got one plank and two bars, and these are worth 163,967, which is worth way more than the journal itself. So this was a big hit. This is like a jackpot. This is like a ding, 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 winner, winner, winner. All right, so you can see here, if you had... Tons and tons of laborers with tons of journals. You would be making huge amounts each day. I also want to mention that it's only 120% returns because tier 8 laborers can... Well, there's no tier 9 house to boost them. With all of the beds and trophies possible except for the founder ones, you can see here when I put the journal in the laborer, its yield is 120%. This dude is not going to get any happier, okay, without founder's items, which I don't have because I sold them, and you can see here the possible returns are 0 to 6 of basically each item. Now let me talk about percentages, okay? Uh, to, get an eight, to get a 0.3 enchantment, it's like 0.24% chance. You're going to have to turn in hundreds of journals to see them. Uh, so they're extremely rare, alright? I think uh, eight, like a 0.1 enchantment is 10%, uh, 0.2 is like 5 to 3%. And then, yeah, it, it gets really, really tiny for 0.3. It's, it's a fraction of a percentage. So, real quick, let me show you how to fill a journal. We have a tier 8 journal here. It requires 58,590 craft fame in order to beef up this bad boy and fill it up. So, I'm just going to craft a tier 4 sickle. There we go. That gave me 180 fame. You can see here, the journal received none of that fame. Because you have to craft with the same tier of the journal. Okay? It's not like... Your mercenary journals, it's not like your your generalist, okay? These are different. You have to use the same tier. So, we have to go to our tier 8 section here. And let's craft something real juicy. Let's craft an Elder's Avalonian Skinning Knife. Just one. That gave me 11,160 crafting fame. Which you can see here is now put into the book. Very cool, right? Uh, now, if we were to craft just a regular skinning knife, you can see here that's worth... 11,160 also. Because the Avalonian skinning knife costs way more to craft, it's not really optimal for filling the journal. Okay? But, I mean, if you were going to craft one of these, you might as well have the journal on you anyway. You're not losing anything. Like, like you can't... <laughs> you, you, you get what I'm saying. I'm not going to explain it. Okay? Uh, but it's not just, like, tools. Okay? You can craft... Uh, well, like, I don't... Satchel of Insight. Does this work? Let's see. We're at 22,320. Craft that bag? Yes, it does. And that bag was way easier to craft with way cheaper materials. 
So, we can craft a cape? Look at that. We are so close to filling this sucker up, okay? You would want to craft something really cheap in, in this sense or have more journals. You will always want to have more journals because whatever fame is left over would spill over into the next journal. But we'll just craft another cape and there we go. We have filled the journal. Alright, and now we can turn this into our laborer and then in 22 hours it will give us more goodies. That is how laborers work, and that's why you should always be using laborers if you craft, if you fame farm, if you do anything, you can always level up or use laborers to your advantage. In case you're wondering, this is how much it fame it takes to fill every single tier of journal. Alright, obviously you're not going to get 11,000 fame for crafting a tier 2 cape. Okay, you'll have to figure out how much fame you get from crafting and do all that kind of fun math yourself. But for channel members, I have done some decent math that you guys can utilize. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, right now, if you scroll right below this video, there is a join button for five bucks a month. You can become a channel member. Yes, I'm shilling myself. Okay, I don't I don't have sponsors. I don't do that stuff. But if you want to help me out and support me. Uh, five bucks a month. I've done the math on a very easy to craft thing that's really, really profitable. And I'm going to be sharing that with channel members here in the coming days. It's not out yet. It's not ready, but I'm going to have that video out for channel members soon enough. All right, here we are on the live server. As you can see, I don't have a tier eight house on the live server because that's expensive. And uh, yeah, but let's that's the wrong chest. Okay, so another thing about Tinker Laborers is you can grow them and then sell them instead. I have 20 Tier 5 Tinkerer Laborers right here in the stack. Yes, they, you put them in the chest, I shrink them down, I, I curse them, and they turn into sheets of paper. I don't know how it works. But one of these bad boys is worth 27,923 silver currently if I were to sell it on the market. I think the price of these are going to go up, especially after this video, and especially when the Brazilian mists update, whatever they're calling it, hits, because everyone's going to have a ton of houses to fill and a whole new section of the game to basically stake their claim in. So I, I'm banking that laborers are going to rise in cost big time. That's why I'm hoarding a whole bunch of them here. Now, this video isn't an entire tutorial on how to grow laborers, but let me just show you the basics here, okay? I've got a tier 4 house, and inside the tier 4 house, there's two beds because there's two laborers, and there's one table, and then I have a tier 2 trophy, the Adventure's Handbook, a tier 3 generalist trophy, Magical Tome, and a tier 4 ancient scripture. These are all just generalist trophies, okay? So, I have two laborers here. This one is tier 2. I just put them down yesterday. They take about 16 hours to settle in. Now that he's settled in, when I go to manage, there's nothing down here that tells me uh, that he needs to wait for, to be happy, okay? His happiness is as high as it's going to get because he's only tier 2. Uh, the lower the tier, the less happy they are generally, um, even with the right trophy. So, I can give him this tier 2 generalist trophy journal, uh, and he's going to have 107.5% yield. I could give him other journals. Well, no, it's not going to let me because he's only tier 2. Um, that's, that's for the... Uh, Di that's a different type of thing, right? If you have like a, like a Skinner, and you can give them higher tier Skinner journals, but they won't return as much. Anyway, so he'll only take the, the tier 2 journal. In 22 hours, he's going to get some experience. So we're going to go ahead and click accept. Now this guy is a tier 4. You can see here that when I gave him the generalist trophy journal, I waited 22 hours, he, he's come back. He's going to give me a trophy, which is not worth 200 silver. It's worth like 15. Uh, so I don't, someone's manipulating this number. But he also gives me the empty journal back, which only takes 5,400 fame doing anything in the game to fill. Okay, but you can see here that he got some experience. This darker green bar at the top, that's how much experience he earned. And you can see here that he has hit tier 5. So we're going to yoink his, his stuff back, toss, the, toss that trophy because it's worthless. And now because he's tier 5, we go advance to tier 5. There we go. He is now a tier 5 tinkerer. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to go to manage and then pick up because uh, I, I want to sell him. I, I don't want to. That sounds weird, but um, I, I don't want to use him for his services. OK, now I have an open spot for a uh, <laughs> a mercy or not a an open spot for a laborer in this house. OK, so I'm going to go click on the side of the house here, this little paper on the side. Uh, I'm going to click that. I'm going to scroll down and here's all the laborers I can buy. Right? I could buy a tier 3 one or a tier 4 one from the market and level it up to tier 5, but that's a waste of money. 
Because I could just, uh, let's see, Tinkerer, Tinker. We're going to hire this Tinkerer for 1,000 silver, super cheap, I know. And we're going to put him right next, you know, we're going to move him in right there. And there we go. So, this is our, uh, our Tinkerer. And you can see here when I click on him, let me just get my mount out of the way. You can see he will be ready in 29 minutes and 50 seconds. If I go to manage, you can see here, time to settle happiness will increase to 215 over the next 11 hours and 30 minutes. You can see here that um, it, it, if he was ready and I try to give him a journal, he's going to get significantly less experience for it. So you want to wait until they're nice and settled in. Basically, I'll just deal with him tomorrow. And I have a whole island of these guys that I'm going to be you know, managing and giving them journals and picking them up and putting out new ones because it just it's free money, okay? You can see here, here's two tier fours. This guy didn't quite hit level five, tier five yet, so I'm going to go ahead and take his journals and I'm going to give him a tier four journal, which he's going to go set out and get some experience. This guy did hit level uh, tier five, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, pick him up, and there we go. And then we're going to grab a new one off the wall here and uh and then set them down and uh i'll come back tomorrow and rinse and repeat and every single day and just those two look how much that's fifty-five thousand silver for just something i'm already doing every day and it takes a, a few minutes a day a few freaking minutes same thing with harvesting the crops okay they're basically crops but they're people i i don't know it's it's getting weird now okay that is all i've got for today for tinkerers if you're interested in, in Booers, Blacksmiths, and Fletchers, they have about the same returns, it's just different materials, and you have to craft different things, obviously, okay? And like I said, for channel members, there's a video coming that's going to help you with your Tinkerer laborers and show you exactly what to craft, how to craft, and how much money you're expected to make from crafting the items. It's, uh, it's great, it's going to be super profitable. Please don't spread the video outside of the membership circle. Anyway, guys. I'm Swole Benji, thanks for watching, as always be a bro, stay swole, and I will see you in tomorrow's video because we have videos every single day on this channel, unless I sleep in or something, I don't know, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and I read every comment. If you want to join the Discord and run group dungeons, then there is a link in the description. It will filter you if you're a normie and can't identify memes, or if you're too privileged in real life. With that also said, uh, thank you so much for watching on screen right now. On the right side over here somewhere, there's a video and you should click it. It's a really good one. And if you want to support this, if you want to leave me a donation, click the thanks button down below because this did take several days to make and research and build. And, and so is a lot of effort, guys. Anyway, that's all I've got. See you tomorrow. Mwah.